Hello dear learners, welcome back to the lecture videos. Hope you all are doing fine in this pandemic situation. I request all of you to stay at home to stay safe. To proceed with the topic of the video, today we are going to discuss on storage conditions for official vaccines. Here you can see in the tabular form I have represented the name of the vaccines and I have also mentioned the storage conditions applied for each official vaccines. To start with BCG, it has to be in a freeze dried formulation. It should be stored in dark place from 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. It is best if it is stored as minus 20 degrees Celsius. It remains effective up to 2 years if properly stored under said conditions. Next official vaccine is pertussis or whooping cup. The concentrated vaccine obtained is stored for 3 months in a refrigerator to reduce its toxicity. After 3 months, the preparation is diluted with the adequate amount of sodium chloride injection to increase the opacity twice as much as that of the standard preparation. It does not require any type of heat treatment. The third one is the cholera vaccine. It should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and shouldn't be frozen. The same storage condition is applicable for tetanus toxoid and the rabies vaccine. Next we are going to study about the polio vaccine. Polio vaccine is best if it is stored at as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius. It can be stored for 6 months at 5 or plus minus 3 degrees Celsius. The typhoid vaccine. It is a dried vaccine and it can be stored below 25 degrees Celsius. If it is in liquid form, the typhoid vaccine should be stored from 2 to 10 degrees Celsius. Hepatitis vaccine should be stored at 5 to 8 degrees Celsius, but it should not be frozen. AIDS vaccine, that is HIV vaccine, it should be stored at 2 to 10 degrees Celsius, but it also should not be frozen. The same storage condition is applicable for diphtheria vaccine that is it should be stored at 2 to 10 degrees Celsius but it should not be frozen. So this is it information about the different storage conditions of the official vaccines. If you have any queries you can mail me at the given mail address. Thank you for listening to me.